Hello everyone, I'm Vice91 and welcome back for more Let's Play Tales of Zestaria. Last time, Alicia pledged herself as a squire to uh, Saray here, and we set off to the entrance to Galahad Ruins to see if we could find, or see if we could gather holy water from the waterfall. And we left Miklio behind, which is really kind of disappointing because it's weird that because Saray and Mickley are supposed to be like best friends and you know they didn't do anything without each other and now Saray's just up and left him without like even a second thought so anyway I'm sure we'll see him again later but right now we're here at the entrance to Galahad Ruins so let's go inside all right uh what is this uh you said there's a waterfall deep in the ruins Yes, the falls within the holy water. Are, the falls with the holy water are in the furthest location from the entrance. Of course it is. It's not going to be right by the front door. But we should be wary of whatever it was that attacked those soldiers. Be on the lookout. Yeah, like this. Can I not get through this? Oh, maybe I need to use my flame. Yeah. Aha. What is that on the ceiling? Is that a snail? We're about to find out. <laughs> No, it's a leech. Oh, even better. Guess we can't hit them by flailing our weapons. Why not? That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Do I have any other I guess I should probably look and see if I have any other arts. Let's keep it up. When the going gets tough, sometime in the future you will likely encounter enemies that seem too tough to defeat. <coughs> Last episode! <laughs> Excuse me. You may need to level up to battle against such enemies, but it's equally useful to review the knowledge you have gained up until now. You may already hold the key to defeating these formidable, formidable foes. Now, it could be possible that I could defeat that thing that whooped my butt last time, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try a little bit later. I don't know if I'm up to the task just yet. Weakness combos during armatization differ from those in normal state. Regardless of the number of chained hits, the damage multiplier will continue until the damage gauge under the total damage runs out. Also, damage increases each time a, a different art of the same element is used. Thus, armatizing with weaknesses in mind, plus using a variety of arts, will lead to devastating levels of damage potential. Yeah! Alright. So let's head to the right! I'm so wishy-washy. Uh, yeah, I was hoping not to mention the fact that I got the crap beat out of me last episode. But, that's how it goes. Oh yeah, I was supposed to look at art. <laughs> Forgot about that. Come here, snake! Really? Are they... Arts. Do I have anything else? Oh, I do. I have Shatterfang. That sounds cool. A hidden art of which the wielder cleaves the ground following a spinning jump. Can attack while dodging low enemy attacks. Okay, so it's earth-based. Let's see. I guess I'll stick it on... Let's, uh, what is what? So, it's... I'm not sure what the difference is. It's up or down. Why is this... Text in blue. I'm not really sure. Oh, so that's stuff for armatization. Okay. Okay, I don't know. 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 Check that monolith out yet. All right. Targeting shows you various information: the enemy's exact HP, category, weaknesses, resistances, stat boosts, inflicted ailments. If the enemy is successfully defending against your attacks, use this to check whether you're accidentally using one they're resistant to. That's right. Doesn't do you much good if you keep using an attack that the enemy is resistant to. That doesn't help anybody. Oh yeah. Flames! Treasure chest. Mango sorbet. Wait, a nice cool... Is this a cooler? How is this still frozen? Weird. So many questions. Okay. So, I chose wisely. 
as I was trying. Are you okay there, bud? My dog is having quite a time trying to get up into that chair. Okay. Okay. So let's go this way. There's another slimy leech on the ceiling. Come hither! I said come hither. Oh, I just missed. <laughs> and... Oh, so there's Shatterfang for you. I'm gonna do it again. Oh yeah! You were quite strong, but we're no pushovers either. Exactly. Okay. Is there anything down here? Yep. Treasure chest, which probably has more delectable icy treats, or not? You know, life bottle. Whatevs. I finished preparing the bottles. Nice. That is quite a handy skill there, Alicia. You've made us an apple gel and a life bottle. Me likey. Whoa, what is that? Is that a bow? Oh, I want it. A bow? It looks like it's just ceremonial. No, take it. It's the silver bow. This bow is a divine artifact. A what? Oh, right. Hold on. So if this bow is a divine artifact, what does that mean? A divine artifact determines the form the Armatus will take. Essentially, <sighs> it serves as a model for the Armatus. A model for the Armatus? Oh, yeah. Like Lila's Sacred Blade. The Sacred Blade of Lady Lake is also a divine artifact. Huh. And that's why your Armatus is a sword. Hey, does this mean that I can use your Sacred Blade to armatize with other Seraphim as well? Well, that depends on the circumstances. First, as I mentioned earlier, just as I am the Prime Lord of you, the Shepherd, they would have to become my Sublord in turn. What exactly is a Sublord? Put simply, it is the title for one who assists Saray while working under the influence of my power. <sighs> Consider the elemental property of the Divine Artifact. Each Seraph has their own unique element that falls under their control. Mine, for instance, is fire. So if the Divine Artifacts all have their own elements, does that mean a Seraph can't armatize with it if their element is different? Indeed it does. Hmm. It would appear this bow's element is water. And Miklio is a water Seraph. Yes, he is. Let's go. <laughs> we gotta get him. Saray does not wish to make Miklio his sublord. Why not? It's no different than when I was made a squire. But you called on the Shepherd's power in order to achieve your dream. Isn't that right? Miklio is different. Come on, dude. Just let him do it. I'm kind of mad at... Yeah. I'm sure he heard that. I'm kind of mad at Saray right now. Where did he go? What's that? Oh. <laughs> a new discovery point. Altar of the Bow. I really want to use that thing. Okay, we have a skit here. The arrow pedestal. Saray, there's something written on the arrow pedestal. It looks like ancient tongue. Oh, show me. Um... Don't walk off with relics and other junk you find in the ruins, okay? And no breaking stuff. On the other hand, treasure chests are fair game. <laughs> so go nuts. Very lighthearted, these ancients. I'm not so sure. The distinction between academic research and crass looting can be very fine indeed. <laughs> Perhaps their buried message is contemplate always the true intent of your actions? Now you're taking it too far in the other direction. Nothing wrong with interpreting it that way. <laughs> But I'm thinking this might just be a joke the ancients left for us. Indeed. Ruins are made by people just like us, so it only makes sense for them to reflect human nature. Quite profound. That's what we like about you, Alicia. Your, uh, sincerity. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait, so... Wait, which way was I going? Which way did I come from? That way. Okay, so I need to go the way I'm facing. Okay, so... oh. So both ways kind of lead out of there. Alright, so let's keep going. We're gonna run into Miklio soon, I would assume. Oh man. Hey, battle! Okay, hey, another monolith. Is that Man, these things are all over the place. Quick step, using square plus, yeah, you can go backwards, side, blah, blah. We kind of already... 
looked at that, so we touched on most of that stuff. I'm gonna go this way because... Because. I said so. How is a plant growing in here? Rosemary. Who planted rosemary here? What sorcerer did this? This may be the way forward for real since I have to use my flames! Moving right along. Oh, what's down here? There's got to be something here, right? Treasure chest? Maybe. Okay. Nothing. Lame? Huh. Disappointing. Oh, stairs. Did this go down both sides? Uh, Galahad ruins. Okay, good. So I kind of chose the way I wanted to go. Meaning I wanted to go the way that has treasures and such. Yeah, yeah, I'll get to you in just a second. Hey, treasure chest. Alright. So, yeah, can I not... Oh, it's locked? I thought I had the copper key. Maybe that's like gold or something. That stinks. Oh, I hear a leech. Okay. Flames! I really like that. Uh, more snakes. Alright, let's see what's back here. Two treasure chests. One I probably can't open. Amber garment. Do I have that already? Oh, I can open this. Oh, earth ring. Sweet. Okay, so let's check some of this stuff out. I probably should shift my equipment around anyway. Just because my proficiency in some items have probably gotten pretty high. Yeah, I'm up to like four stars on some of this stuff. Although, maybe I just might max out some of this. I don't know. So yeah, I do have amber garments, but all I have are fire rings and a void ring. So maybe I'll throw the earth ring on Alicia. Why not? So Mira Mirage or Mirag. I see recovery speed while defending. Uh, increased. Earth type damage reduced by 10%. Sure, let's, let's roll with that. Okay. Actually, let's speak with Alicia, see if he, she has anything. Oh, yeah. You said there's a waterfall deep in the ruins? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We already had this conversation. Sorry. Alright, so... Oh, yeah. I already fought that leech. That's right. Alright, so back the other direction. Get to the other end here. Oh, uh, enemies have respawned. Okay. Gotta go over to the other end here. I'm sure more enemies are just waiting to feast on me. But that won't happen. Like this leech here. Alright. Almost there. Did I already come this way? No, I don't think I have come this way, so I haven't checked this little alco. Let me get rid of this leech. Oh, here we go. Here's another little um, tidbit here. Advanced techniques. By combining various techniques from the battle section of the system book, you may discover new, unconventional interactions between them. It can't hurt to go back and read up again on subjects you've mastered in case it triggers any new realizations. Some monoliths will give you tips on advanced techniques. Oh man, I don't even want to begin to imagine what that could entail. Anywho. Man, she made another life bottle? She is cranking those things out. Alright, let's see here. So I want... To, uh, okay, let's see if we can go straight forward. I highly doubt we can get through that door. Okay, where was I trying to go? Uh, nope, not that way. Yeah, I imagine I can't get through here. Okay, I can Open sesame. Snakes. Alright. Hey, treasure chest. I'll tell you what, Alicia talks some smack during battles. Another apple gel there. Sometimes she kind of talks like a pirate, too. She's like... Well, maybe not a pirate. Wait. She says, like, come at me, knaves. Is that a pirate thing or a knight thing? I don't know. I don't know. I'm an idiot, so don't... <laughs> Don't pay attention to me. 
fire! It's just that's just a handy ability. I don't care who you are. I'll get to you, save point, in just a second. This hallway is just too tempting. Hallway, I just sounded really southern. Saffron boosts our defense by two. Nice. Alright, I guess I'll save. Maybe a boss or something's in here. So hold on one second. Okay, let's see what's down this mysterious hallway. Careful! Yes. What? W where? Well, that sounds creepy. Oh, I can see it. Don't. It's poisonous. Stop. <sighs> Lila, get back. Okay. That was Mioma. Holy crap. Giant centipede. Okay, so there's three of them here. Okay, let's take a look. It's a centipede hellion, but it far surpasses the others in both size and elemental resistance. Dear me. If only we knew someone who could cast water seraphic arts. Really? You're gonna say that right now? Uh Miklio, where are you? Okay, so it is weak to water. Of course it's... Oh, it's a crustacean. And of course it resists fire and earth. The only two arts that we are capable of. Yay! It doesn't have too crazy of a defense or attack or anything like that. Man, it just has arc defense through the roof. Okay, well, let's try. Let's see what we can do. Oh, man, we're doing nothing. Let's see what this does. Well, that wasn't too bad. Let's try it again. Dude, yeah, that thing is serious. There's still so many of them. Dang. Twin Hey! He's got the bow! Miklio! You couldn't have timed that better! Lila, let me become your sublord. Are you sure about this? Wait, hold on now! You're right. I am stubborn as a rock. Uh, huh? I admit it. I'm hellbent on becoming a sublord. But there's something important that you don't understand! I do understand! I just didn't want you to get involved! Get over yourself. Oh. Do you really think this is your dream alone? Saray, do as Miklio says. Listen you to your squire. This is our dream. Finally. Now, Lila. Very well. Yes. Oh, ye born of the sacred currents of peace. Nicleo, Lila! Here let our path be forged, that my unquavering incandescence may be as thy purification. Shouldst thou accept this burden, recite along your etc. Etc. <laughs> now for the Armadis. Nicleo, give Saray your true name! He already knows. You bet I do. Oh my! Here we go, Nicleo! Let's end this. Give it your all. Dude, so now I can armatize with Miklio? Yes. Okay, this is awesome. This is our armatus. Holy crap. Alright. I'm counting on you. Oh man, I just got countered. Woo! Oh man, I don't think I got it off that time either. That would have been just epic. Bubble arrow? Dude, this is awesome. Wow, that was amazing, you two. Oh, were you able to remove it? <laughs> now that you mention it, it just came off. I wonder why. Does it... does it really matter? Besides, this means that I can now use the Armatus at will, right? Lost those training wheels. Look at you. Shut up. Makes sense. So, that's why you couldn't take it off before. Miklio, I wanted to say... Don't thank me. <laughs> After all, I merely did this for my own dream. I know that. 
I feel oddly. Just enough. punch him in the nuts. Agreed. Alicia, don't tell me. Yes. Not only can I hear your voice, I can see you now. Hey, that was no quick. Way. You can see Seraphim now? I think it just goes to show how strong you've already gotten. <laughs> Maybe we do have a fighting chance against this Lord of Calamity. Saray. Lila, Miklio, please accept my sincerest gratitude for saving me. It was nothing, I assure you. But you're welcome. <laughs> I thought we weren't supposed to be thanking you. Guess there's no need to worry. All right, the waterfall <laughs> is just up ahead. All right. About time you two made up. Party lineup. Hey, we got a trophy. When Shepard's ready the power of purification for battle, Seraphim too can access this power if they have a human to channel it through. When Saray is the sole human in the party, only one Seraph may join him in battle, but if a human squire joins him, an additional Seraph may also join. When armatized, press L1 again to cancel armatization. Why would I want to cancel armatization? Anyway. Okay, so since we have a human squire in Alicia, now we can have Lila and Mikleo in our party, I guess. Right? Yeah. Oh wow, everyone. Everyone leveled up. Everyone learning new arts. Everyone proficiency increased. Learn a new battle action. Stuff. Everything. Got divine artifact water and something else I didn't read in time. Okay, so now I'm paired up with Miklio. I guess I can change this at will. Switch battle character. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, switch Seraph. Okay, so yeah, so now I can switch between which Seraph I'm kind of paired with here. Miklio or Lila. I'll stick with Miklio for now since he just came back and I'm glad to have him back. Okay, let's look at battle actions here. Let's see what new one we got. Charge cast. Press X after casting a Seraphic Art, and if you have learned a higher... Huh? If you have learned a higher Seraphic Art, the casting will continue switching to that art. Oh, okay. Uh, whatever. I don't quite know what that means yet. Uh, let's see, is anything else down here? Oh yeah, quick banish? Armatize. When foe is stunned, banish blast can be unleashed at very high speed. That sounds good. I got the AP to, to spare, so why not? Okay. Let's take a look at Miklia's equipment real quick, because he does not have a ring. I did remember that. So, what do I want to give him? Oh crap, he has max proficiency with these. Oh, that's not a bad thing, I'm just saying. Um, let's see... Art defense, HP recovery, fire type damage, earth type damage. But she, Alicia, has that equipped, so. I don't know. Void ring? Why not? I'll go with this one. Let's see if there's any better pair of battle boots, yeah. How about. Let's go with that. That sounds pretty good. Do we have a better amber waistcoat? Um, meh, not really. Uh, do we have a better circlet? Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Holy crap, that's really good, actually. Yes, please. Boss of the G-Union. We got another trophy. G-Unions are bonus skills activated by vertically lining up all five skills from the same group. If you look at the top right corner, we have done so. In general, this will result in a powerful effect relating to that skill group. For example, if you equip all five status skills, the bonus skill will boost each of that character's stats by 20. Holy crap, so that's, that's why there were such significant stat boosts there. Awesome. Sweet. Okay. So good. Uh, let's see. His proficiency is huge with that, so maybe I should change to Sublord Friend. Why not? Until today, he was a childhood friend. Now he's a brother in arms, too. Should I change anyone else's title? Nah. I'll leave it like that for... Well, I guess I could change earrings here. Just because... Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I guess, just to increase proficiency there. Um, don't have another choice there. Uh, don't really have any better options there. Uh, eh, I kind of want to change that just for the sake of changing it. But, eh, I guess I'll leave that alone. 
Do I have any better amber boots? Or battle boots. Not really. Kind of a bunch of garbage right now. Okay, well that's okay. Alright. So let's keep going. We're almost to the waterfall, I'm guessing. I'll go to the right first. And we have a bat that's moving in really strange speeds. Ready, Nicleo! Blaze the fight! Be gone! Everyone okay? Okay, we got another little thing here. Treasure detection. With this talent, you can detect treasure chests and herbs in the vicinity. Set it on multiple characters to increase the size of the detection field. I don't guess I have that ability yet, or that talent yet. Hey, Monolith. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Dropped items. The first enemy you defeat in the battle will have a two times chance of dropping items. If you seek a certain piece of equipment, use that use the command focus attacks to target enemies that drop that item. Okay. Hold on, I just detected... Was that... I s could swear that I... Maybe it was this. Are we nearly to the waterfall? Yes, not much further now. Tell me, why is it that Lila thinks Mikleo's power will be the key? What do you think he must do? I don't know. Well, I mean, he's a water seraph, so... That, that helps. Um, she kind of alluded to that earlier. Another Ambler Circlet. Where did I go wrong? Black stuff? Fail. Well, at least you tried. Can we get Alicia to start making stuff again? <laughs> she was making awesome things. Alright. Uh, let me go through here and get this treasure real quick. And devil wings. Oh, it's, a, it's an attachment. Devil wings to make you feel like doing something naughty. Best not wear them too long. <laughs> I'll check that out later. It's probably just, uh, just a pair of like wings or whatever that hang off your back. Anyway, we are almost to the waterfall. So yes, let's go ahead and get in here. Let's do it. Is there anything else in this room? Nope. Just the waterfall? Okay. Plenty pure to me. Hey, Miklio, do you think you can freeze this water? Huh? Yeah, don't see why not. Then freeze it and let us bring it back to the sanctuary. Ice is highly resistant to being corrupted by malevolence. Very well, I'll give it a try. Sweet. Thank you very much. That should suffice. Now, before this melts, we'd better take care of our other problem. What? Whoa, what's happening? Oh, it's that thing Lila gave us earlier from the aqueduct. I'm assuming. I'm not too sure what's going on here, though. Oh, it's the... the book. Lila, what was that? The Earth in Historia. It finally reacted to something. So that was something real from the past. Did you see that, Miklio? He was writing the Celestial Record. Yep. Yeah, that must have been the author. There are more Earth in Historia where this came from. If we obtain them, surely we can obtain more information about the past. Oh man, this is too sweet! This is only the beginning. Don't get so worked up, or you'll just wear yourself out. Right. Whoa, <laughs> He's burning up. This is a result of the pact we made with Miklio. He'll get better after some rest at the inn. I'll carry him back. If we want to cool him down, I guess I better make some more ice. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, let me save the game. Hold on one second. His fever has gone down. I'm surprised it only took him one day to recover. It took three when he forged the pact with me. He's definitely got natural ability as a shepherd. Miklio. Oh, thanks for helping with the letters, by the way. I caught up with everyone I needed to. It's okay. I rather enjoy writing letters. <sighs> Are you awake? 
I... I must have fainted again. Sorry. You gave me quite a backache. <laughs> you looked like you were floating. I told the innkeeper you were just doing some sort of magic trick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never was any good at lying anyways. Don't overexert yourself. You still need to rest. I'll be fine. We gotta find the Lord of the Land, and someone to pray at the Sanctuary before the ice melts. Uh, but... The Shepherd has spoken. <laughs> Is it not the duty of the Prime Lord, Sublord, and Squire to follow him? Guess so. <laughs> Alright, so we got Red Eyes Gym, Trey, and Holy Water of the Falls. Alright, so we're back in Lady Lake. Wait, can I go back in here? Is there anything in here that I can pick up? No. Lame? Let's talk to Alicia. We finally have the vessel. Now we should turn our attention to finding Father Brunor and the Seraph who is to be the Lord of the Land. I hope we don't meet any more powerful Hellions. Like the one in the Galahad ruins, you mean? Indeed. I almost wish I could return my ignorance of these foul beasts everywhere. Which reminds me. Repairs are supposed to start soon on the bridge south of Lake Haven, near Falcon Hillside. There will be large groups of workers gathering over there. I fear they might make tantalizing victims for Hellions. Perhaps we ought to check on them and make sure they're alright, just to be safe. That sounds like a good idea. We don't want innocent folk um, getting attacked or anything. It's okay. Um, I'm going to call it an episode right here. And next time, let's see. Search for Seraphie will become the Lord of the Land and search for Father Brunor. So I guess that's what we're going to do next time. But thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And next time, we're going to see if we can find Father Brunor, I guess. Or search for a Seraph who will become the Lord of the Land. So until then... You guys take care, and I'll see y'all later for more Let's Play Tales of Zisteria.